Okay, ladies, I want to share with you another technique that I use. See if I can work around this tripod. Um, this is to make anything you're working on look very distressed and old. So you're going to want to start, if you use chipboard, make sure you um, prime it with some gesso. I'm going to use this script stamp by Inka Dinka Doo. And some Versamark. Versamark. <laughs> Embossing pad. I'm going to stamp my image here. Move that out of the way. I'll grab my Ranger Fine Embossing Clear Embossing Powder. Apply that to my chipboard. Get the excess off. Move that out of the way. Melt my embossing powder, which may take a moment, and I apologize. I don't know how to do fast forward on these videos, so if anybody knows how to do the fast forward, let me know. That way I don't have to bore you with this stuff. I'm using my heat it tool by Ranger. It's my favorite heat tool because it doesn't, it's very quiet and it doesn't blow out air very forcefully, so it doesn't blow away half your embossing powder when you're trying to do stuff. And it heats up really, really hot. So, there we go. Almost done. Okay, let me just cool this off really quick. And what I'm going to be using is Distress Crackle Paint, and this one is Shabby Shutters. You're going to want to stir it. It's so thick you can't really shake it, so you're going to want to put a very thin coating. A very thin coating on whatever you're working on. And a little does go a long way. There's no rhyme or reason to putting it on. You can just slop it on. But make sure it's a very thin coat. Because you're going to be sanding some of this away. Okay. Now I'm going to heat set that so it dries. They say you're not supposed to start using the heat tool until it starts to crack, but you can pretty much heat set the whole thing as long as you move it around. As soon as you're done painting it, well, except for the metallic colors. So I apologize again for you having to sit through the boring heat tool. But you have to make sure it's entirely dry before you continue. And I just like this technique because it makes an item look extremely old. And I like that look. All about the distressed old look. Okay, we're almost done here. And I promise I will try to figure out how to do fast forward so you guys don't have to sit through the whole thing of the heating tool. And again, somebody let me know how to do it. I don't have a program in my computer that I use for editing film or anything like that. I just have the YouTube and my flip camera. So let me know with those two things if I can do the fast forward. Okay, I think it's dry. I don't know if you can see all the cracking in there. But there is a lot of cracking. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is sand. You're going to want to sand until you see your embossed image start to come through. And 
it's okay if you accidentally on the um, edges or whatever, if you sand through to the raw chipboard because you're going to be using distressing ink on here and it'll just add to the look. And by sanding this, you're getting down to the raised parts of the clear embossing powder and you're actually sanding off the coating of embossing powder a little bit and it's going to take to the Distress ink. And I'm sorry about this boring part too. <laughs> Apologize. So you get the basic idea. I'm going to do it now. I'm not going to sand the whole thing. I don't know if you can see how you can start seeing your stamped image come through. And then I'm going to be using my applicator, Ink Essentials Applicator by Ranger and Vintage Photo. Put it on here. And I should have done more sanding, but I didn't want to bore you guys too much. Okay. And then you need a paper towel, which I gotta get. You can just wet it a little bit if you want to to get the excess off the top so you just leave the dis distressed ink in the cracks and then you end up with something that looks like this I mean it's not pretty at all but I love that old distressed look I don't know if you can see it very well so that's a little technique I use in my work and I hope this helped you and try it out it's fun Thanks for watching. Bye. My flip won't shut off again. Yeah.